children, yesterday you all celebrated something called the National Cheesecake Day. Blueberry Cheesecake Day. Now, first of all, let me tell you, don't get confused with the word national. Because this cake day celebration is only in the US. Only in the US. National means national for them, not for us. First. Okay, apart from that, today I shall tell you the history of cake day. Cake is supposed to be a practice, a celebration when an Egyptian king was ordained as Pharaoh. When he was ordained as Pharaoh. See, this is papyrus. This is an original papyrus painting where you see that the man is being ordained as Pharaoh. He becomes the king. This is papyrus. Papyrus is handmade paper made from papyrus grass. Papyrus grass which grows a plenty by the river Nile. So, and these are the writings, the Egyptian writings, and they are known as hieroglyphs. These are known as hieroglyphs. So, cake was a practice to be given to the new pharaoh, to the new king. That is 5,000 years ago. More than 5,000 years ago, cake was used as a dessert, as a sweet dish, just like kuch meeta ho jai. Same day, as a dessert, as a soft, spongy, sweet, honey laced, lot of honey, lot of honey in the cake, lot of fruits in the cake. Why? Because Egypt was, Egypt is the basket of Mediterranean food. So, cake, a slice of cake was offered to the new king. Later, the Greeks, later the Greeks are going to talk about the history of cake. It goes back 5,000 years to the land of the Nile, Egyptians, they celebrated the ordaining of the pharaoh with a piece of cake. At the same time, you will be surprised to know, you've heard about the pyramids, right? And in the pyramids, when a pharaoh died and all the riches of all that he used was put along with him and taken in this boat, okay? Taken in such boats, you know, to the other side of the Nile to be put into the tombs. A cake was also sent along with him. A cake was also sent along with all his wealth and riches so that he has a sweet sleep. So that when he wakes up again in the afterlife, he has a sweet dish to begin his meal. Interesting, no? Interesting. So the cake that we have today is not just a cake that, this is the modern version of the cake. But it goes back 5,000 years ago when cake was just as a home-baked dessert. What was available at home with whatever grains? Whatever, uh, it is flour today, but in those places, you know, it could be something else. What what could be there? What what could be used? Tell me, children. Change. What could be used, children? A bread. A bread, okay. And a cream. A cream, yes. What else? Wheat. 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 Nuts. 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 Yes, ask the girls. Honey yes, chocolate. Cho chocolate. But, but it wouldn't be the very mechanized chocolate. It would be a homemade. What else? What um, else? Uh, the, the, the grass with the decoration. Decoration, white flowers. 
wild flowers maybe isn't it wild flowers and then what else berries berries very 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 good option right berries would be a very good option. fruits fruits everything like apples yes yes apples yeah fruit honey yeah honey because there's plenty because sweet egypt being the crushed, best base uh, of the nile you know we find delicious fruits we find enough and more of rice and wheat grain barley on both sides of the nile it would have been a part of the sahara desert but because of the nile egypt is a delta It's a valley. Okay, it's a fertile place. Right now, so these are some of the you know scenes and sceneries of the Egyptian indulging see, in household work. Okay, now why do I put these medals over here? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Now, let's go back to ancient Greece, where the race is about to begin, and the participants have all got on their headgears made of olive leaves. Let's take the names of the the races, the, the runners. Races. We have Adelaide on extreme right. We have Pipono in the center, and then we have Penelope on the right. So remember your names. Give a round of applause. <laughs> medalist may i have you yes about to begin and 
this segment has three chivalrous boys from Greece and other nations. He is Zeus, he is Jupiter, and he is Constantine. Zeus, Jupiter, and Constantine. When I spell out your names, please raise your hand. Zeus, raise your hand. Jupiter, raise your hands. Constantine, raise your hands. Yes. Take your mark. Take your mark. One. Two. On your mark. Get set. Go. Jupiter, 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 Jupiter. Yes. So, Jupiter.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Take a good photo. All of you.